Hello, welcome back to Man Cave Munchies. Today we're actually going to make pineapple upside down cake. Very, very simple recipe. We'll go over the ingredients in a minute, but basically we're going to do the whole thing in a cast iron pan. This is a 10, actually might even be a 10 and a half inch cast iron pan. Most people have that. It's really simple to do. Let's look at the ingredients real quick if we can, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make this thing very quickly. We have three quarters cups of regular sugar, um, granulated sugar, three quarter cups of brown sugar. We have a cup of all-purpose flour, two eggs, like to have those at room temperature, a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and three quarters teaspoons of baking powder. We have six rings from the pineapple. Uh, basically, when you, you take it out of the can, get the one with the natural juice, that's always really good. And we're gonna reserve two tablespoons of the natural juice, and then we have uh, one teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, we have eight tablespoons of butter, and we have six tablespoons of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, you can actually use sour milk. And you can actually sour the milk all by yourself. You need one cup of 2% milk fat, and 2% or higher on the milk, one tablespoon of white vinegar. Um, you can even use one tablespoon of lemon juice if you have that. Uh, basically, mix them together, let them sit for about five minutes, and you'll have sour milk, and it gives you that tanginess that you normally get with buttermilk if you don't have it. All right, let's put this thing together real quick. Uh, we're going to take just two tablespoons, actually three tablespoons of our butter. I want that at room temperature. I already have the pan hot. We're just going to melt that slightly. What you want to do is just swirl it around. I want to also make sure that the sides here get coated because we want that, uh, when the cake rises, we want to make sure that the cake is going to pop out. So you can just swirl it around. I like to grab a piece of it with, uh, with the fork. Just make sure you coat that really nicely. Take it off the flame and we're going to take our brown sugar and we're going to sprinkle that over top of the butter. That's going to give it that real kind of gooiness that we have. Just spread it around. The, the butter will absorb into it. Uh, give it a few seconds. We're going to pop it right back over the, the fire just to, to heat it slightly so it melts. And that's where we're going to get that really nice kind of gooey top that you look for when you have a pineapple upside down cake. Um, you don't even have to wait too long. Take the pineapples Spread them around real evenly, around the pan. Again, very simple. And that's our seven pineapples. And a lot of people in the centers, if you want, you can put maraschino cherries. If you don't have those, you can put blueberries, raisins, uh, chunks of pineapple, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not gonna put anything today. Um, and that'll all cook together. And now we're ready to put the cake together. We're gonna mix our dry ingredients in one bowl and our wet ingredients in the next bowl. We're gonna take our six tablespoons of buttermilk or sour milk. We're gonna mix that with our pineapple juice. Again, two tablespoons, no problem. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna go ahead and take our two eggs and pour that together. And we just wanna mix that up. You can do that with a blender, you can do that with a whisk, but just, just get it all incorporated nicely. There you go. Now we're gonna take our dry ingredients. We have one cup of all-purpose flour. Just dump that on in. We have three quarters, again, tablespoon, or three quarters cups of granulated sugar. Three quarters teaspoon of baking powder. One quarter baking soda. And one quarter teaspoon of salt. Put that together. Um, take our blender, just put it on low for a second, and now what we want to do is mix our wet ingredients in there. Take that all in. And we want to throw our very soft butter, the other six tablespoons, right into there. It has to be at room temperature, so this way it doesn't clump, but it'll mix really easily. I'm going to put that on low speed. Let's get that just moving around. We want to wait until it just gets incorporated. Now this batter is going to be thick. All right, that's all we really need. Now what we want to do is we're going to take the batter and we're going to pour it right over top of our pineapple sections. So now we're going to take that, pour it right over the pineapples. Make sure we cover everything up really nice. You'll see the little chunks of butter in there, but those are all going to get incorporated in as this, as this cooks. Make sure we get air, you know, as much out as you can. You just want to grab a pan. Pop it into the oven. We're going to set our timer for 35 minutes. This will actually take anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes, but we're going to check it again at 35 minutes. As long as it, you'll see it's nice and brown on top and golden, 
and we're going to take a toothpick, as long as the toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean, we're done. And then I'll show you how to flip it out and you have your upside down cake. You're going to flip out? I'm going to flip out. The timer went off. And let's make sure that this thing is ready to go. Pull it out. See how nice golden brown it is. Insert the toothpick. Came out perfect. We're ready to go. That was about 35 minutes. What you want to do now is just shake it just to make sure all of the sides don't stick. And we're going to leave it sit there for five minutes and then we're, I'm going to show you how to flip it. Well, we waited our five minutes. Now we're going to depan the cake. We have a nice big bowl. I'm going to take the pan, shake it up one more time just to make sure. I put it on top and flip. And pray to God it comes out. Pray to God it comes out. And oh my voila. God. That is just too beautiful. Standing out, please. Tell, tell them the alternate method, Dave. <laughs> stand on your head. Yeah, stand on your head. Flip the house. Either way, <laughs> it all works. So, and the nice part is, it's all out. So there we go. Um, we're going to cut this up pretty soon and actually you can serve this with a little bit of uh, whipped cream. So, here we go. Now off to the goulash. Do the dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Band, dance, I got the band. <laughs>